Right, in today's abs routine, we're going to begin on the floor, face up, on our backs. Focusing on the arch of the lower back, first pressing into the floor, lifting the tailbone upwards, and peeling the back from the floor. Continue till we reach the back of the shoulders. Holding here, take a breath in, and as we breathe out, lowering the spine, slowly back down to the floor, taking a breath in at the bottom, exhale once again as we peel, lengthening the spine, taking a breath in at the top, exhale on the way down. Noticing how easy it is to breathe with the level of intensity at this point. Next, bringing the feet above the hips, bringing the chin to the chest, reaching the hands towards the ceiling. Pressing the lower back into the ground, feeling the intensity build around the abdomen. As we breathe in, create space, distance between the hands and the feet. Stopping at the point when we feel the back of the butt touching down onto the floor. Take a couple of breaths here on an exhalation, bringing the feet back up above the hips. Try to bring the shoulders away from the floor. Try to keep the butt off the floor and keep the lower back the heaviest point of contact with the floor. Stopping just before the butt touches the ground once again as we breathe in. Holding for a couple of breaths on an exhalation. Reaching back up once again. Feeling how the lower back remains bent. Closing the space between the ribs and the hips. Remember we're in the position of the lower back now as we roll over onto the front face down into a standard plank position from the elbows and the toes. Pressing the elbows deep into the floor, widening the shoulder blades, pulling the ribs in, rounding the lower back, tucking the tailbone under. Once again, closing the gap between the ribs and the hips. The breathing at this point becoming a little tighter as the intensity increases. As we hold a little longer, the burn, the fatigue begins to increase. As we begin to lose the ability to maintain the position of the back now. Turning straight over, face up once again, this time keeping the back of the hips off the ground, chin to the chest, shoulder blades off the ground, reaching up towards the toes, holding for around five seconds, lowering without the shoulders, touching the ground for about the same five seconds, reaching upwards, taking once again around five seconds, holding for around five seconds, lowering down, Bringing the feet to the floor, shoulder bridge. Taking a few passive breaths here to lengthen the abdomen. Lowering down once again, feet above the hips, hands to the ceiling, chin to the chest. Shoulder blades from the ground. Maintaining the position of the lower back, taking the hands and feet further away. Once again, focusing on keeping the back of the butt from the floor. Taking a couple of breaths. Reaching up once again. Turning over onto the front, face down. 
pushing the elbows into the ground, widening the shoulder blades, tucking the tailbone under, keeping the knees pulled up, bringing the chin to the chest slightly. Breathing, tense, maintaining length. Once again, as fatigue begins to build, as we start to feel the body sinking towards the ground, turning the body over quickly once again without rest. Reaching up to the toes, keeping the back of the hips off the ground, keeping the shoulder blades off the ground. Taking five seconds to low without the shoulders touching down. Same on the way up. Hold it. Stretch once again into shoulder bridge. Marching into the back. Stretching into the stomach. Into the third round next. Reaching up once again. Toes to the ceiling. Lower back presses into the ground. Keeping the back of the hips off the floor. Maintaining the position of the lower back, distancing the arms and the legs. Pushing the lower back into the ground. Rise, reach. One more time. Last time, over onto the front, face down, pressing down into the elbows, pulling up through the ribs, tucking the hips under, squeezing into the core, breathing strong, tense, feeling the burn begin once again, moving into that point of fatigue as the body begins to sink. Without rest, for the last time, on to the back, face up. Taking around five seconds to reach, holding for around five seconds. Lowering for five. Last time, reaching, squeezing, tensing, holding. And lowering down, release. Moving on next, into a side plank. Pressing the elbow into the ground, pushing the shoulder down, pulling the body away from the shoulder, lengthening upwards, one foot on top of the other, pulling the knees up, Reaching the top arm. As we begin to feel the body sinking, mindful of keeping the distance from the body and the shoulder, lifting away from the arm, pushing the elbow downwards. Without rest, moving on to the opposite side. Side crunch, hold for five. Lower, small range of motion. Very slow. And over. It's this side of the body we've just worked, we're now moving into this side. Side plank. Rise the shoulders apart, opening up through the chest, lengthening through the spine, keeping the neck long. Once again, we begin to reach that point of discomfort, burn, and fatigue. Without rest, once again, moving on to the opposite side. Slow. Side crunch. 
holding, closing the gut between side ribs and the side hip, lowering slowly, once again. Moving on next, rotation, placing the back of the shoulders into the floor, the upper arms heavy on the floor, the elbows pressed down firm, bringing the feet above the hips, slight point of the toes, taking around five seconds to bring both legs, the pelvis follows, the lower back begins to twist, even the opposite shoulder on the ground, hold. The intensity begins to lower as we move through the center. The intensity begins to build as we move across to the other side. Holding. Stillness. Once again, the intensity begins to lower through the center. Once again to the other side. Holding. Try not to let the feet move forwards. Try to keep the feet pulled inwards. Last time through the center, finally to the other side. And to the center. Bending the knees, bringing the feet to the floor, pushing the hips once again towards the ceiling, lengthening out through the abdomen. Okay, moving into a seated position next, into the board position, with the shins level, the chest lifted, shoulders wide, chest open. As we elevate the arms upwards, try to extend through the legs, pointing the toes up towards the ceiling. Hold for a few seconds, breathing wide into the ribs, bringing the arms forward, knees bend. Take around five seconds once again to find the toes to lift the legs, to reach the arms, to elevate through the ribs, widen through the chest. And release once again, bringing the feet together, pushing the knees wide, butterfly stretch to release. Last movement, rotation from board position once again. Extend the legs to the point of the boot. Keep the fingertips together. Thumbs into the chest board. Rotate to one side. Letting the legs counterbalance into the opposite direction. Very small movement. Hold for around five. Take around the same level of time to move through the center. Lifting up. Lengthening across to the other side. Keeping the legs firm as we draw the knees up towards the hips. Last time through the center. To the other side. Once again, minimal movement. Small. Through the center. Through the center. To release. 